what's up what's up what's up guys so this is my five things i hate about my new jeep laredo let's get into it so i bought this uh like a, a month ago um for number one the thing that i don't like about it is the fact that it looks like uh, a lower version of the SRT or the Trackhawk. I don't. I. If you're gonna get something that looks like uh, those two, that similarly uh, compared to it, why not just get that specific car? You get what I'm saying? So that's one thing that I don't like about it. Um, another thing is the wheel gap. I don't like that the tire is. It's, it sits high i like it because it's an suv feel it's all-wheel drive that's cool but i don't like to sit i don't like the gapping you know what i'm saying so i might lower it in the future um it's just uh, it, it takes away from the car to me it takes away like the look of it it takes away the actual aggressiveness it's not that aggressive this car um but it's still what how can i say it's just it's just something i it's like a pet peeve the wheel gapping wheel spacing if i can fit like my whole fist like this i just feel like oh my god like it's i don't know it, it annoys me and all the people that knows what i'm talking about you get it wheel gapping is just like eh. so i might put on lowering springs or uh coilovers maybe this car is not, I'm not putting no bags or anything crazy. I just want to lower it up just a little bit, you know, put maybe, um, I think it's 20s on here. So I might put like 22s or something just to complete that wheel gap spacing. So that's two. Um, number three, I wrote down uh, the speaker system. The quality of the speech speakers is real clear, which I like, but the fact that it doesn't get as loud because my car has a speaker system yes i know oh well you have a speaker system it can't it's not gonna reflect the same that you want but like i said i've been into a srt and the track hawk and if you turn it up it sounds like it ha already has like a speaker system in it and this one is just like i could you know i vibe with my music with it and stuff i still you know listen to my music and it's cool but it's just like ah, I like that, you know, <laughs> that manly. I like my my music loud, so it do, it gets loud, but it doesn't get. If I can hear myself, basically, what I'm saying is, if I can hear myself sing my songs or sing the songs that's playing or whatever, it's not that loud to me. <laughs> I like music where I can't even hear myself, but I still enjoy it. I still, you know what I'm saying, so. That's number three. <clears throat> number four, this is a 2018, so I don't know if they changed it for the 2019 and newer models, but the blind spots for the mirrors. I, since I'm transitioning from a sedan to an SUV, I would like to have <clears throat> blind spots. The warning, the indicators that's on the uh, mirrors. Um. It's just something uh, a safety hazard for me. I don't want to look in the uh, rearview mirror. I don't want to, you know, like just all day looking back. And just, I want to focus on the drive. I just want to sit here, ride, peek over. If I see the indicator go off, that means somebody either arriving next to me or passing me or literally right next to me. So I want to still focus on the road. You know what I mean? It's, it's just like a safety hazard to me. I don't know if I can change out those uh the uh the side rear the rear rear uh, ah the side view mirrors. Sorry, I'm talking fast, but if I can, please comment down below. Let me know where can I get them. I might install them, and um, you know, it's just it's just like a, a safety hazard. It's not too big of a, a hate, but it's still like a since I'm transitioning to a from a sedan to an SUV, it's just like a. I would like to have that because I drove the SRT, I drove a track car, I drove even other cars that have blind spot um, 
um side uh went on my mirrors but like i said it's not so much of a hate it's just like a i would like to get the feel for the car even more so that's just another thing that's number four is just the blind spots also last but not least the whole interior it seems like every jeep suv has the same feel for it one some of them have a uh bigger screen some of them have um different nodules like down here it has like the 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 uh how you can put it in sport mode you can put it in track mode you can put it in launch mode things like that is that's the only small tweaks about uh jeep um grand cherokees which i don't understand it's like they all have the same heated steering wheel which is still a good thing but it's just like can you switch up the design a little bit so people can direct the direct free mm. <laughs> that word got me tongue tied as hell Durant Free H. Durifer. But yeah, so though I just feel like they should have built they should have built it with different uh an interior, a tear an interior uh change. So that's my last but not least. So that's one through five. Number one was uh I believe the body style that looks like the SRT track called uh, limited X. You know what I mean? Just switch it up a little bit if it's gonna be, because I just feel like if somebody pulls up next to it, they gotta know what it is. Like how you see a, a Bentley Bentayga or something, it's like that's a Bentley. Like yeah, we know what that is. Then if you see a track called next to the Laredo, it's kind of like. It's just a Jeep. Until they see supercharged under it, then it's kind of like, okay, that's a supercharged Jeep, but what kind of Jeep? You know what I'm saying? Until they see the badge and it says Trackhawk or the seat uh, embroidery. So it's like, switch it up. Like, I don't, I don't, I know what it is, so I don't complain about it. But like I said, you pull up next to one, it's like, okay, he got yellow calipers. This one has basic calipers. It's like small tweaks you have to figure out to know what's the difference. You know what I'm saying? So that's just another thing to me. Um, like I said, number two was the wheel gapping. I'll show you that in a minute. So guys, this is the wheel gapping that I'm talking about. It's just like, uh, like, see what I'm saying? The front is not bad. Right here. It's not that bad, but the back is just like why? See what I'm saying? It's like why? And number three is the speaker system. Number four is the blind spot, and last but not least, the interior of the car. Um, comment down below. I'm gonna have a lot of upgrades to this car. Not little, not crazy uh, things, because I'm still saving my money to get the uh, SRT or a track hawk, whatever comes first. Um, that's what I'm shooting for. But I will uh, keep y'all updated with that. It is coming soon. Um, so y'all just stay tuned with everything. And I got you. So, holla.